Here with Apollo 440. A bunch of mad guys from Liverpool. I actually think you guys should be the new Beatles. I really do. I really think. I'm John. I mean, I'm Paul, I guess. Well, he's Ringo. I've got to be Ringo. You've got to be Ringo. And I do the Thomas the Tank impressions as well. You're watching It's a Hard Day's Night. And, um... Not. Right, let's, let's, let's talk like serious for a minute. Let's talk about life and death and life after death and no death. Mm-hmm. I mean... Sex and death. Oh, that's getting very morbid. I mean, what? That's sex after death or... Se- well, anyway, but... Oh. Cry- <laughs> cryonics, I mean... Mm. I mean, that's when people want to get frozen after they die and hopefully mm. be woken up again. Apparently Walt Disney did that, didn't he? Well, this is this is like a massive urban myth. Walt Disney didn't. Oh, he didn't. Wasn't frozen. Walt, Walt everybody, Disney. everybody Walt. thinks. Shut up. <laughs> everybody <laughs> thinks Walt Disney was, was frozen. Was was like he's the most famous kind of cryonic uh, subject, but he wasn't actually frozen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, what, come on. What am I missing here? What am I missing here? Uh, Cryonics, I mean, how can how can one not be obsessed with the, the, the next stage of man's evolution and the, the idea of supremacy over, over the final hurdle, which is death itself, which, you know, we, we all want to be immortal, basically. So, cryonics is science fact, it's not science fiction, it's something that's happened. They've frozen cats and dogs and stuff like this. They're still alive and they've frozen them and brought them back to life. And, and cryonics, freezing a human is like... This, this is going to happen in the future, it's science fact, it's not fiction. Mm. When, when they've sorted out how to cure cancer and how to cure, you know, whatever has killed you, they'll bring you back to life, it's not good. do we want to live forever? Do we yeah, want to stay in a... Se- yeah, I do. Well, I want to be recycled, though. I want to, like, me incarnated in a new body of a new life. I don't want to be like... Mm. Well, it's okay, it's okay, but... No, I'm the same one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with the one I've got. But it's like such a, <laughs> such a good body and such a good life I've been given this time now, and I just need to go on forever. Oh, I was hoping we were going to get somebody else to sing for us next time. <laughs> 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 there you go. Something else about this next I, I video. Wanna, I want to look like the guy running the boat over there. <laughs> <laughs> more recycling his body, that's no problem. He gets paid more than you do. Yeah. About the next video, like Liquid Cool, it was. It was filmed in a mental hospital, wasn't it? It was indeed. X Men. They let us out for oh, the X- day to film the video. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> it was shot in uh, Free and Barnet Mental Hospital in North London, which was it was a Victorian mental asylum. It was like a classic freaky place. It's classic freaky place, definitely. But it I was like, like it was almost like a, a, a the. the the, the acme of their, their sort of technological achievement at the time in, in Victorian times of, of sort of how they how they dealt with mental illness and it's it's a fabulous place it's so brutal and the, the, the corridors are, are about a mile long and it's it's just like there's these kind of there's these little cubicles where they basically you know shower off the the filth from the the, the, the loonies it's like it's such a scary oh, no, we, that's that's video. we shot stuff. our video and it, it's a it's a we such felt fabulous right, was very at home actually there's yeah. one there's one scene we didn't use where we were supposed to all be in white and we kind of we got togged up and wandered around felt very at home and... felt very at home and it was done by an MT well an ex MTV guy by John Klein. So if well, he's an oh, XMTV oh, guy, well, we've been and he's not here while you're on MTV. John Klein here all the time. Yeah, actually, I mean, John Klein, John like Klein was supposed to be here tonight. We're, we're going to call him now. I mean, we, we, want him, we want him on air. We want him down here. We want him like John, that you're listening. He's part of our posse, we've and he should be here. Uh, well, I hope he's going to be here soon, because we've got to go and play the video in a second. Is he know, here? Pick up the phone, pick up the phone. Let's see if he's there, let's see if he's there. Mr. Klein. No yeah. service. Well, listen, oh, listen. No, 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 no service. Stay tuned because we'll talk to uh, John Klein on the phone in just a sec, and don't miss it. Be there. <laughs>